tier one. Because I was I was doing this thing. My teeth. <laughs> Hi guys. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a monochrome pink look. So like magenta madness. I don't oh, like sports. So. Love it. <laughs> um, Not March Madness. Magenta, <laughs> magenta madness. madness. So we took that to the extreme. I'm nothing that you can't do with like softer tones yourself, but just really kind of stay tuned, pick up one or two little tricks and try it day to day and see what you think. So I already prepped Kate's lid today. We <laughs> used a little bit of the NARS Creamy Concealer in Creme Brulee. We put a little bit of translucent setting powder over that. You can do this with any of your concealers. It just gives you a nice even surface. So we're gonna go in with the brand new Mothership, <laughs> Mothership 2 palette from Pat McGrath, which is definitely a splurge, but I wanted to incorporate more color and show you guys how to do something other than a nude lip and a nude eye. This is the OG Kate, this is Kate, my sister, and we're gonna start with this really, really gorgeous kind of peachy shade right in her crease, and this will be our transition shade. Something I will say, I haven't really used a lot of Pat McGrath with you guys. Her shadows are extremely pigmented, so you can be the deepest of the deep or the fairest of the fair, and there's a way to make every single palette work. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna lightly place this all over the lid. So we're gonna go back into that, kind of work it in our normal way, so that greater than and less than sign, and then just bringing it right to the nose. And I'm staying kind of away from that center area, because I want that to be the lightest, and I'm just going to imitate this on the other side. And like, you could easily stop here, put some brown liner on. Yup! <laughs> I'm going to go into this hot pink, so we're going to go right into the lash line, and just dust this right through, and it'll give us some really, really, really cool um, contrast with her eyes. And just for a flash forward, we're going to be using this as our blush today. With a monochromatic look, the biggest thing you want to look for are similar colors. So you can do a monochromatic look with all browns, but you want to make sure if you're using all browns that they're all warm, or they're all cool, or things that complement each other. I'm going super slow to kind of build up. Yeah, well you can always add more, you can't take it off. Yeah, and especially when it's a pink pink shadow like this, you don't want to be stuck in a non-blendable state, and you don't want just that harsh line of where this hot pink and that peach kind of meshes together. We're going to kind of go in a different direction now, and we're going to focus on what we're going to put right in the middle of our eye. I'm going to use the highlighter that we're going to use in a little bit, and that is Iridescent Pink from the Pat McGrath Highlight Palette. So we're going to go in with a small little paddle brush. My eyes look so green. Yeah, complementing colors to your eyes. I do it with Kate all the time with like those coppery colors mm -hmm. for her blue. Very similar. That blend is killer. I'm going to spritz my brush. Does that make it like stick better? It's not even that it makes it stick, it makes it kind of turn into aluminum foil. Ooh. So instead of looking so powdery, it kind of gives it a wet glow. And I'm starting right from the corner, inner, teared up, and I'm working my way into doing a fake cut crease. This is a way softer version of doing that. So then when she opens, it's cheating her eye to be open. So when she puts lashes on, or when she starts doing whatever else she's doing, it will give for a little bit more lid space. What's funny is that I feel like in the right way or with the right amount of steps, this could easily be daytime. Like you could just choose to use this on your eye. I actually used this on one of Bobby's nieces. Just this iridescent pink color, just on her that lid. That sounds so pretty. And it was just, we used a little bit of bronzer in her crease. Love. And then just put now this on Now you're speaking inside. my language. <laughs> so you can use one of these colors. But we gotta push me, we gotta push me out of my yeah. mouth. <gasps> that looks so good! We're gonna go in with a really, really small blending brush. So, that guy, we've seen that before. It's like frequent flyer miles for this brush. <laughs> um, and we're gonna go into the deepest shade in the palette, and it's like this plum color. The trichrome reads really dark too, but this is like dark all the way around. And this is Kate's thing. This is Kate doing her makeup. She puts like a little bit of dark right in the corner, and no liner it is. And I'm not even bringing this all the way in, I'm just focusing this on the second half of her eye, and then blending it out. So I just like take the excess of the brush, but I'm only applying the product really through here. So, you know I see with Kate, I bring that dark shadow all the way here, and then I bring it all the way up. But with this Kate, the focus is totally different because her eye shape's different. So the start of the color of your eye out is where you want to give there Ooh, that away. Okay. So we're just taking the excess and just working that across, but you want the majority of the product just to be right here. There's your eye. You can see there's lots of fallout in this palette, which is not the norm for her shadows. So simple too. 
Okay. We're normally going somewhere. Yeah, true. I'm usually, I'm usually like the third one in. <laughs> yeah. It's like Thanksgiving or like, I need my makeup touch on. Yeah, yeah, I show up with like three quarters of my face done. He's like, let me just do three things. And then I have like a whole new face. And Kate wears an SPF, so her body's gonna be a little bit warmer than her face, which I is great. To. Cheers. Um, but we're learning. We're right. going to match that with some foundation today. And this is 5.5. That is my ultimate favorite foundation. Yeah, it's like the best. I'm just gonna go into the skin with this. It makes it look super skin-like instead of like mm -hmm. foundation. That is my biggest thing. Like I hate when I wear makeup. Obviously I'm wearing pink eyeshadow right now, but when I wear makeup and it looks like I did my makeup, like that's not my thing. I want the complexion part of this look to be very understated and the eye to be the focus and the cheek, just kind of everything blending together. During the summer, I like to switch out of the NARS and into the Touche Clap pens. Mm. So I like to take a little bit of number three. So this is like our first spring summer look. Had some videos in the queue that we weren't comfortable posting with everything going on. We wanted to make sure that the right images in the right videos had their platform right now and mm -hmm. I've gone ham on my own social medias just kind of like promoting what I think is right right now. Um, so we do have some looks and videos that we do have coming for you guys but I'm waiting for the right moment and He's uh, tasteful. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I have a everyone I think needs to be aware that we all have a long way to go. No, I mean but. like it's great like you know you have a platform, you know you have a voice and people listen to you so I'm into it. 0.75 same concealer. I love a product that has a brush attached. Oh my god, I hated that for this I reason. So Well, because I use my fingers for like, I'm the worst. For someone who has a makeup artist that's a brother, I am the worst. <laughs> well, I feel like there are certain foundations like Luminous Silk, you can easily use your hands. Oh, I, and like, I feel like I get the coverage in the spots that I want it when I use my fingers, but I honestly, the, the sponge changed my life when people came out like beauty, beauty blenders. So we are gonna go into a deeper shade of the Luminous Silk. And we are going to contour. So not gonna go crazy, only going like a shade or two darker, which is totally He has to give me cheekbones. And so very different method to contouring is using your foundation that you know will mix well because it's already what's on your face. And just kind of taking that and merging it up, not down. So if you have a round face, you don't want to blend that brown down because it can become really ready. I'm working my way up and just kind of building that cheek. So an artist or a makeup artist that loves to do this is Mariah Carey's whole team. They love to like sculpt. Her cheek. Yeah, but like, like with someone who has a round face, like I never know how to contour my face because every video someone has cheekbones and I'm like, I don't have them. So I feel like this gives you really great balance. So we're taking like what's already on your face and just working it up. It's Haters kind of, will say it's, okay, it's kind of catfish. <laughs> Haters will say it's Photoshop. I posted that one day. And I'm gonna take a little bit of what's left on my finger of the light shade and just bring that right down. So now I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush and just kind of brush up the edges so everything is nice and blended. I know we've gone in with the beauty blender, just touching over everything. And now we're gonna set. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, the OG, and we're just going to take it on our beauty blender, our dampened beauty blender, look all the way up. You want to make sure that What's you... the, um, the reason why you dampen? So I like this to feel not like a brush on the skin. I want it to kind of mold into each crevice, and without it being damp, it's really stiff, and there's no difference of using a brush at that point. Perfect. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of blush. This is the Patrick Ta She's Passionate Blush. I love the and I look all the way up. I'm going to take this really widely under the eye. So I just connected the two together, and now I'm going to go in with that starting peach color, and that's definitely, it's going to pull a lot more pigment, and you're going to see that right away. So I'm going to have you look up. I'm going to start on the outside, and then just lightly brush in, and then connect the two. And what's great about a really pink eye is you could recreate this using all nude colors. It's the same shape, 
or applying the product in the same way. That's true. You're pretty much teaching me how to do just a good eyeshadow look no matter what color it is. And connect the two. So you kind of want to create this very drawn out look without <laughs> liner. And that's something that this is a nice easy way to learn how to do an eye look without liner so you're not stressing about that but you still get that very pulled look mm. all at the same time. Because I, I did a lot of liner probably about like three or four years ago. A but lot. I, I, like that liquid ugh. look. Sorry to no, my it's... liquid fans out there but it's just not me anymore. I'm going to go in with that plum color. I'm going to take that color and I'm just going to put this literally right under her lashes and just kind of play connect the dots with her lashes underneath. So I'm going to go in probably with a mix of a couple of different bronzers because hell why not. Um, and I'm going to start with Rosewood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to put this bronzer in the same motion, working our way up. And if it's really not that dark, I just kind of want to add a little bit of shadow there. So now we're going to go into the scariest color Kate has ever seen. And I'm going to mix that in with She's Passionate and then that very, very, very blue-hued paint. And we're just going to take this and just go up and down little strokes just to the cheekbone and then just kind of working that. And then something that we don't normally do, we're gonna connect that right into the eyebrow. So kind of that David Bowie-esque look just without like it being rouge. If I could go to Pride, this is what I would wear. Yeah, we're gonna social distance Pride. Like this is a great eye look for mask wearing. Oh, right? like, it's statement eyes. It's just not really heavy. And now I'm just gonna take with the excess of my brush and then a little bit of the Patrick Cash, she's passionate, and just make a little sunset. Aww, on that's so, so pleasant. Okay, so now we're going to do some highlighter. Mm. We are going to go into the Pat McGrath highlighting kit. Same one we used on the eye. This is iridescent pink. I like to spritz my brush very lightly, very lightly, with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. I like to just put this where I want some highlight and then merge it right into that brow bone. So I took that right to the center of the chin, right above the lip, and then if you really want to go one step up, you could go in with like a really bronze kind of color and sculpt right underneath that. I'm just stopping there because I'm showing restraint. Mmm. Oh my god, it made it like a lot more pink, but in the best way. So that's a very pink highlighter. If you don't have a really pink highlighter, I would use something a little bit more gold toned. So we're going to jump off. We're gonna do lashes and then we'll be right back. So we jumped off, we did some lashes. And four bobby pins later. <laughs> and some mascara underneath. Now to finish up the look, I'm gonna take some clear brow gel right through her brows because we've used some powder and some stuff. And this is a great way to lock that eyebrow in place. So this is the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury liner. And then this was in a Pat McGrath Rio, but I actually have the bigger version of a bunch of these. This is called Beautiful Stranger. And then I'm going to use my Chanel lip gloss. Love them. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's okay. so this, um, we really want to do something really fun and really like light yeah, push and me summery out of my comfort zone. and not just another basic glam. And if you're not used to playing with color, this is a really great way to start. Just take the blush that you already own, put mm -hmm. it all over your eye, put it all over your face. Put it all over your face. <laughs> all over your face. And once you take one step and just build on it, you could do this with your bronzer. Use your bronzer on your eye, bronzer on your cheek, do it like a brown your lip, and then that could be a monochrome look. So monochrome has a very like wide range mm -hmm. of like what it can be. It's still so my style. We though. just picked one color and put it everywhere, and we got to try out a really fun palette for eyes, and we hope you enjoy. It's kit number one. We're literally shooting our finishing shot. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you filming right now? Yes. So say hi to our, our six viewers. <laughs> Are you having fun? 
Yes. You look amazing. So, I'm in pink. I was like, what will Kate one not do? And I was like, put hot pink all over her face. 